Hello everyone, I'm Debbie Polachek. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to go into shadow boxes into depth. I want to explain to you the formula that it takes to make uh, the shadow box at what size you want it and at what depth you want it. For instance, this shadow box here is a half inch thick and this shadow box here is three quarters of an inch thick. And for say you want an image inside and you want it to be a certain size, I'm going to show you the formula it takes to figure out from the inside how to make the uh, how to make the frame at what thickness you need at what thickness you want. Uh, this is made of poster board, so it's a real good sturdy little box. And for stamping up uh, purposes, we have get these um, backings to our designer series paper. I have used this for my poster board, but of course, if you don't have that, you can use poster board. Also, um, I covered this one, and I'll show you in the video how I went about covering it to make this so the, the, the paper would be on the outside instead of just the white box. For instance, I had made this one. This is not quite complete, but another video uh, which with the poster board itself showing. So, But if you want to kind of custom do it with uh, paper, then I'll show you how to do that, okay? Also, as you can see in this one, I have a little um, a little squirrel, and he's inside of there. I'll show you how to, to make it so it will have different depths within the, the shadow box, no matter where you want to put it. Of course, this one I decorated on the outside as well, so it's dimensional on the outside. So. Anyway, let's get started doing that. To start off with, how to figure out how to score and cut your poster board so it'll fit your image that you want or the size you want. Okay. First of all, we're going to take our image and we're going to measure, like for instance, this one. For instance, this one. This one is three by four. Okay. This one's three by four. So we'll write three here and four here. Now this one has the three quarter inch, three quarter inch uh, frame. So I'm going to go ahead and write three quarter inch. In order to get the next, this this is going to be actually what we're going to be scoring it at. Okay, so it's three quarter inch. Then I add another three quarter inch to that. It would be one and a half. Now I'm going to add another three quarter inch to one and a half. We're going to need four of these. Okay. We're going to be scoring it at two and a quarter. Okay. And another quarter inch to that is three. So these are the score lines I will make all the way around. All the way around the piece that I'm going to show you how to cut in a minute here. Okay, so in order to make, to measure how to cut, I will need to add, I will need to add seven and a half inches to the three. Okay, this is three, and I need to add seven and a half inches. So my cut needs to be ten and a half by, and then I have this needs to be four inches, so I need to add seven and a half inches to that. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven and a half. So this is what my piece of poster board needs to be 10 and a half by 11 and a half. Now I already figured out my score lines here. My four uh, score lines are at three quarters of an inch, one and a half inch, two and a quarter inch, and three inches. And that goes all the way on all four sides of this 10 and a half and 11 and a half inch piece. Now on the top, I will also need to add another three quarters of an inch away from each edge piece of paper cardstock here just so you can see I've got it scored at three quarters of an inch 
just like we said in this thing here, three quarters, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three, all the way around. Now, in order to get the little areas that you would cross over, you would need to add another three quarters of an inch. So three plus another three quarter is three and a quarter. But this time, instead of going all the way down, you only go down to the second score line. On this side, I need to do the same thing from this one. So I'm going to need to take away three quarters of an inch from the seven and a half on this case. It depends on what size it is. But anyway, it needs to be three quarters of an inch away from this inside score line. So all I need to do it at, in this case, it's uh, six and three quarters. So it's another three quarters of an inch away from here. And again, go down two score lines. Now I need to flip it completely around to the other side. The part I just did is down here. I'm going to do the same thing here. So three and three quarters down two lines and then a quarter, uh, three quarters off of this last one down two lines again. What I'm going to do now is poster board. This time instead of making a three quarter inch frame, I want to make a half inch frame. So, in order to do that, I want the same side as on the inside. So again, I know that this is three. So I take three, use five. So this time, three plus five equals eight. Now, always when you're making a half inch frame, you always add five. When you're making a three quarter inch frame, you always add seven and a half. And I'm sure if you're only if you want to make a big one inch frame, you would always add ten, because that's how much it would take. Okay, so instead of this is going to be four, and so I would add four plus five is nine. So that will be eight by nine is what size I need to cut my my poster board. So now I'm going to take my scoreboard and this is on the right side. For instance, if this was paper, matter of fact, you can take a glue a piece of paper the same size if you want to on it right now. It might be a good idea. Let's give that a try. It wouldn't matter which way you glue it, if you glue this or this. So just glue that to your poster board. I've got my poster board all glued to my designer series paper. Now, you would score it at one half inch, one inch, one and a half inch, and two inch all the way around, no matter what size you make it, as long as you're making a half inch frame. Now, on this shorter side, I want to make it a half, but since this is two, I want to go down to two score lines and score this at two and a half. Okay, on this side, it goes to six, so I want to take a half an inch away from six and score it at five and a half, down two lines again. And do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take all these little squares, these corners, out. So I'm going to do that now. Now, I'm going to go do this little score, the little short score lines I did down the second one. I'm going to go cut to that second one. Then I'm going to turn my scissors and I'm going to cut from this point to just this first square point, the next square point. 
So I'm going to make it like a diagonal cut, which is a 45 degree angle cut from there to there. So here we're going to go down two squares. Take that one square. I'm going to see if it's easier this way. Yeah, I believe it's going to be. So I'm going to hold my scissors right at the end of that and go right to where I cut. Other side, the same thing. Down the two squares. I'm going to take score tape. And on the inside of the first line, I will put score tape. I am on the right side. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put a little piece of score tape right at that, that uh, 45 degree angle that I just cut. So you just need a tiny piece in each one of those 45s. Now I'm going to reinforce my score lines with my bone folder on each one of the lines. Now I'm going to take it and fold it at the second score line. I'm going to take my tape off. I'm going to hold this down as best I can. Make sure it's in that score line and press that down. There, we've got one part of our box done. Do the same thing over here. Fold it at the second score line. Tape our tape off. Hold it. Make sure it's in that corner in this uh, crease. Keep it there. And flip it up. Now we're going to take the little ends off. I did it again. I put this on the wrong piece again. I did this a while ago. Y'all seen it and didn't say anything. Y'all seen it and didn't say a thing. So... Pretend this is not there. Okay, we're going to take this. Take it off. Square up my corner here. And then press it down when I get it there. Square up this corner. Press it down as soon as I get it there. Okay. Square up my corner, press it down, square up my corner, press it down. And I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to keep it kind of raised up here. And I'm trying to feel, by still lifting it up, where it's going to the back. Make sure my corners are still straight and press it in. Take this one off. Leave my little mistake on. Again, I'm filling it all the way back. Now these, these, these are kind of lifting here, so I just go ahead and push them in as much as you can. Just gotta have that one in there. And then push your corners back together if they need to be, and press it down. And you've got your box.
Now the inside of this box should be three and four, but see the difference that a quarter of an inch makes? It's a big difference, isn't it? Three, three, a four, a four. So we got the same size of opening with a smaller frame. Okay, let me sh show you one more thing. In order to add um, dip at your little project, your little pieces at different depths, like if you wanted to raise this uh, cake stamped image up a little bit, you could put dimensionals behind it and put it behind there and that would raise it up but if you're doing and you want it if you wanted it more if you wanted it up to the the level of the frame you would need to take like cardstock and cut it or score it since this is a half inch frame you would need to score it at half inch pieces okay so be two and then I imagine cut it at two and a half so you would score it at one half one one and a half two and then we'll cut it at two and a half now I want something that will kind of help help support that so I would I cut it about that long to help support it so here I've got these cut it at two and a half and make a little triangle. Glue this together. Now I would have something that would support this image, like putting it on here and putting it there. Okay. Then if I wanted a different depth, I could use dimensionals or I could use a little bit smaller, like a quarter inch. Do it at a quarter inch. As long as you have five sides, okay? So you could also do, like for instance, on this little squirrel here, and I wanted to do like a halfway up this thing, I would score, well, it would be a half inch, Then score it, I mean, and cut it at the length of my object that it would need to be. Let's say it's that long. Now I could just fold or cut this in half. I'll just fold it since it's so small. And that way I'll glue this part to the back of the image and this part to the bottom, the top, or the sides of wherever I need it to be. And that way it will support at a different level. So anyway, I hope you have fun creating your own little shadow boxes and whatever you might need in it. And uh, hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.